Hi guys. So guys, it scares me to deliver this message. But it's real. Hell is real. None of you have ever experienced anything like hell. Hell is the worst thing, the worst place you've ever been. You would go through and you would experience. I don't even have an idea how horrible it is, but... My imagination is the only limit. And... Based on how I imagine it, the visions I have of certain things, it scares me. <clears throat> One of the visions I want to share with you is I have a little sister, younger sister. And she behaves on... She doesn't do the things she should because she's 16 years old. She thinks she can live life how she wants and do what she wants and... Despite me telling her multiple, many times <clears throat> about God and Jesus and all this stuff, I think I haven't preached enough to hell about her. And it scares me because recently I've had visions of <clears throat> whether if I was in heaven or wherever I was, <clears throat> a vision just popping up of my sister saying, screaming in pain and torment. Alan, that's my name, why didn't you try harder? Why didn't you try harder? This is all your fault. You should have, why didn't you try harder? You should have tried harder. And that vision just terrifies me because I, sh I know I should try harder. But I'm fear is getting in my way. You know? I have to get rid of this fear. Because fear won't save you. It never will. And having that vision, I can only imagine how terrifying it is. You know, you could have saved somebody. You could have tried harder, but you chose not to. I know that feeling. I don't want to say all of you experienced it, but I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about. Having a close one saying your name and then screaming, why Why didn't you try harder? Why can't you try harder? As, the, as they're on their way to hell. That just terrifies me. Can you imagine that? Your loved one saying, screaming your name, why didn't you try harder? Knowing you could have, but you didn't. Alright, I'm gonna cut the video, guys. God bless you. Please save your loved ones. Please tell your family about Jesus. Please tell your family about heaven and hell. Please preach to your family members. They might really need it. You might be their <sighs> source to be saved and to get to heaven or to hell. It could be because of you, one of your family members ends up in hell. It could be because of me, one of my family members end up in hell. And then I have to deal with the guilt of hearing, why didn't you try harder, screaming in agony. That is terrifying. I can't even imagine it anymore because I think... Anyways, guys, God bless you all. Please share the gospel. Please share the message with somebody. Because the end is here. The end is near and... It can happen tomorrow, the day after, and knowing I just sat on my seat and did nothing, was lazy about it, saying, procrastinated, saying, I'll do this tomorrow. I just can't think of it. I have to just do it. So all of you guys, I urge you to do the same. Pray for your loved ones. Pray for your family to find Jesus, to find a God. Because many people in our families need saving and they're not living the way they should be. They're not living by the Bible. They're not living righteously. And that's going to hurt them. They don't realize they're fun now. Or whatever they're doing now. Is going to lead them to a hor horrible place. That they will never get out of. For eternity. It reminds me of the story from Lazarus. The rich man. He always had everything on earth. And Lazarus would always... I think Lazarus was the poor man and he would always beg the rich guy for 
for food scraps for crumbs that fell off his table, but he never gave him any. So when Lazarus died, he went to heaven. But when the, the rich man died, he went to hell. And in hell, Lazarus was in agony, he was in pain. He was imagining everything that happened to him every moment, everything that he did to Lazarus, every time he denied him and didn't give him any food. And he was, he was screaming in agony. He's like, La please let Lazarus touch the tip of his finger in water and touch my tongue with it. But God told him no. He told him no. So this is terrifying, guys. I'm at fault because I'm not trying hard enough. I really am not. I don't have the same fire I did when I started. But I'm going to pray to get that fire back because I need it to save souls and that's what's most important god bless you all